Hello sports fans and welcome to part two of the Planet Zoo 100 Baby Challenge. In the previous episode we established our teams and started making babies at a staggering rate I might say which has somewhat slowed my game down which I guess will happen when you're breeding 92 different species at the same time but there's been no crashes yet so that's a good sign. So far, for the challenge of reaching 100 babies in a family unit, the reptiles are in the lead, with 7 babies each for the Gariel, Galapagos Tortoise, Nile Monitor and the Dwarf Cayman. Now, I made a mistake last episode that I've corrected for today. I miscalculated that the Dwarf Cayman had had 6 offspring, when in fact they've actually produced 7 from the first birth. I'm blaming the fact that they were all bunched up together when I was counting them for that mistake, Anyway, I've adjusted the leaderboard to reflect this, so Dwarf came in now sitting correctly in 4th place, which does push our Meerkat family into 5th, but no change across the rest of the board. We're at a point in the challenge where every species has had one birth, and some of the offspring are starting to mature to adult status themselves. Some of our OG pairs have also successfully mated for a second time, so I'm confident we'll start seeing a greater number of conceptions and births very soon. And if all goes to plan, some of our teams will start pushing ahead quite rapidly, I think. So let's push on and see what this breeding factory can produce today. Common Ostrich leading the way to be the species with a first, second birth. That's four new chicks added to their flock. Not so good news here for the Arctic Wolves. That is the second OG Wolf to pass away here. So that is the end of their run, unfortunately, with only two offspring. Not a very good run for those guys. And as we expected, that's time up for Mum Panda Bear there. She was very old and considering her age, it was a miracle that she gave birth at all, to be honest. So just one baby panda bear there, and unless they can age up in time to mate with dad, which I don't think they will be able to manage, that will be just one baby there for the pandas. Another bumper litter here being born for the arctic foxes. That's a lot of babies there. How many is that? I think it's six again. <laughs> yep, that's another litter of six there. So, wow, that puts the arctic fox on top again. But another prolific breeder here, that's the Dwarf Cayman coming in with another seven little babies there. So Dwarf Cayman on top with 14. Ah, end of the run for the reindeers. That's OG reindeer mum there. She's gone, so that's just one baby as well for the reindeers and end of their run. Fennec Fox has made the leaderboard with their second litter of three little pups here. And another four babies for the prairie dogs, taking their score to eight. Oh, first signs of inbreeding. That is the red panda there taking the initiative. Well, we knew this was going to happen, so red pandas here leading the way. Hopefully there will be more like this to get to that 100 total. Another litter here for the African wild dog. I think that's another four. So, yep, that takes African wild dogs total up to eight offspring. Red Panda here, having had the first inbred offspring in the zoo, which has put them on the leaderboard, so I guess it's working. Oh dear, there goes Dad Panda Bear there, leaving behind one little cub there, so didn't have a chance to breed, and that is the end of the line for the Panda Bears. Another record litter here, that's six more for the Arctic Foxes. They're breeding incredibly quickly, the only problem I've seen so far, it's only one fox giving birth, so I think it's only one mating pair. This could mean only the alpha pair are breeding, which is going to mean none of the other foxes are going to breed whilst these two are still breeding themselves. That's going to be a problem for numbers. Well, cheetah numbers have exploded. They're maturing quickly and there is inbreeding as well, so could be onto a winner here. Another seven added for the Dwarf Cayman, but like the Arctic Fox, I've only seen one pair breeding, which could be an issue. So starting off strong, but others will overtake when they have multiple pregnancies going on at the same time. Second litter here for the Meerkat family, that's another six added, taking them into third place. Galapagos Tortoise, up another seven little Galapagos Tortoises here. Dolls have had a second litter of five here, taking them comfortably to fifth place. More prairie dogs, so that's 19 in total, and I think that's over about three pregnancies. 
more common ostriches have matured and that's more babies in the enclosure as well. With more pregnancies, they've doubled their numbers pretty quickly. Ostrich enclosure, definitely worth keeping an eye on. Oh dear, OG prairie dog down. That's end of the run for prairie dogs. And they were doing so well as well. Oh, that's so sad. Prolific breeders, but they don't live very long. Meerkats out as well. Just two litters, 12 babies for the meerkat in total. Getting busy in the ostrich enclosure. That's 23 now. Just had a bunch of notifications about offspring imminent at the red panda enclosure. Boy, these guys are really getting busy. Yep, here's another one. They're taking this competition very seriously. <laughs> I think every female is pregnant or just given birth. Well, both OG Komodos gone. Ten offspring there. Fourth litter here for the Arctic foxes. Considering it's only one female giving birth, that's a lot of pregnancies in a short space of time. Quite a big pack of animals going on here now. Not really been paying attention to the badger enclosure, but it's kind of exploded. <laughs> Another two babies there, taking the total to 12. Last call for the doll sheep here. Just two offspring there, so no awards for the doll. Ostriches have been added again. Another flurry of pregnancies and births at the same time. So storming ahead with 38 total now. So another animal that's not on the leaderboard, but I think might be one to watch is the Himalayan brown bear. They've been increasing numbers pretty quickly. They're only giving birth to two at a time, but all of the females seem to get pregnant at the same time. So every time we have a new female, it's bringing the numbers up rather quickly. Fallow deer out. One left. Oh, no. Hang on. No, it's another double death here. That's team fallow deer out for good. With six babies total. Ah, oh, what a shame. Cheetahs storming into the leaderboard from apparently out of nowhere. I swear I checked on these guys maybe five minutes ago and there was not that many. Look at them all. So many babies. Oh, this is what we like to see. Some tough competition getting on now. Clouded Leopard coming in strong as well. Not far behind the cheetah there. Oh, look how cute they are as well. Oh, I love it. Fifth litter here coming in for the Arctic Fox. And I can say definitely without a doubt now, it's only one alpha couple that are mating though. So can you imagine what the numbers would be if all of these females here were breeding at the same time? Maybe that's why only the dominant alpha couple will breed. Sad end for the cougars run. Both OGs are gone and just six babies there. Now it's African wild dog bowing out. That's two litters, 10 babies both OGs gone. Oh boy, over halfway with the ostriches here. It's getting awful squishy in this enclosure. It doesn't seem so bad until a bunch of the babies grow up at the same time. Then you're like, oh, not enough room. And Jaguar run has ended. That's both OG parents now gone. And not a bad effort. 15 Jaguars in the end. Can't believe it. Polar bears had two more babies. Mum there lived long enough to conceive and give birth to two more of them. She's a fighter. I'll give her that. Back on ostrich watch. And just 20 more and we reached that elusive target of 100 babies. Is there anything in this game that the ostrich can't win at? Any target I set in this game, the ostriches just always come out on top or almost top. It's absolutely bonkers. End of the line for the Dwarf Cayman. They did well at the beginning. They were on top for a long time. But that is both of the parents now passed away. With no more babies born in a while, actually. Back on Ostrich Watch. Up to 88. That poor keeper. They must hate their job right now. Taking care of 88 ostriches. Uh, how much food do I need for these today? You need a truckload, mate. <laughs> Good luck with that. Well, it was bound to happen sooner rather than later. That is OG female polar bear out. Did well considering she lost her mate so early on. Only five offspring, but I still think that's an achievement for good old polar bear there. Cheetahs coming along in leaps and strides. Not quite as quick as the ostrich. Nothing's blooming beating the ostrich now, but doing very well for themselves. 
Ah, uh, giant otter out of the competition. Not seen a lot out of these guys. They started out slow and never made it to the leaderboard, so haven't been paying a lot of attention to them. So that's it though. Otter's out with 12 babies in total at the end. Another team out that we've not seen anything of is the West African Lion. Finishing up with 16 babies there. Another team saying goodnight is the Badgers. Had a good run, couple of spots on the leaderboard on occasion, but no new babies in a while, so finishing up on 14. Cheetahs had a couple more offspring. The birth rate is slowing down a little bit with these guys. All that inbreeding, it's starting to affect the number of babies born with every pregnancy, and I reckon we'll be seeing that with a lot of these animals soon. Speaking of inbreeding, haven't heard much from the red pandas lately. They're back near top of the leaderboard though. They seem to all get pregnant at the same time. So there'll be a long period of nothing and then suddenly an explosion of babies and new pregnancies at the same time. So definitely keeping an eye on the red pandas. New entry on the leaderboard, Common Warthog. They've started off slow, but are gradually building up their numbers. We might see great things from the warthogs. Another team out, that's the Eurasian Lynx ending with 11 babies followed by North American Beaver with 15. Then another team we've not heard anything from before, the American Alligator is out with nine babies. Well, I think we all knew this was coming. Common Ostrich is the first animal to achieve the 100 baby target. Well done, Ostrich. Not only are you one of the fastest animals in the game, you're also the fastest procreator in the game too. So Ostrich takes the top spot, but we still have many more teams in the game still battling out to reach that elusive 100 babies target too. A few promising teams like the Red Panda and the Cheetah are procreating very quickly indeed. It's a balance now of whether the inbreeding genes will start slowing them down, will they breed themselves into infertility, or will the sheer numbers still outweigh those odds? Find out tomorrow as we go into the final part of this 100 Babies Challenge series and see which teams will dominate the leaderboard here on in. Thanks for watching, bye for now.